This is an excerpt from Dear Tatiana, a letter from the collection of short stories Three to Tango and Other Tales by Branka Chubrilo. Dear Tatiana, it has been a month since you left abruptly. You left New York without a warning, without saying goodbye to Maxwell or to me. I heard your lover was released from prison. It could have been plain gossip. This tango scene is an unreal arena. Gossip, strong, poorly handled emotions, and lots of unfounded assumptions. A clash of egos. And men being bigger gossips, bigger crybabies, and drama kings. Tatiana, Tatiana, you just disappeared and left them hanging onto their unfinished, unfulfilled dreams. What have you done, Tatiana? Yes, I am teasing you a little bit, but I can sincerely say that since you left, there isn't that unique energy that only you could project. To many of us, it simply looks as if a light has been switched off. The star got tired of her role and retreated. You might wish to ask about Maxwell, am I right? He went to Montana and refused to see me, as he worded it, ever again. He broke my heart, Tatiana. What broke my heart was the fact that he cared more about you than our long-lasting friendship. We were friends for over four decades. He was my only sincere friend. How can I replace Maxwell? Or how shall he ever replace me? Tatiana, Tatiana, you and your ever-present smile. Mysterious? Malicious? How could I ever know? Who are you? The answer to this question is going to stay a mystery, as you showed many faces to me, to us. Yet there was one I was aware of, but was never able to grasp who was the exact personality you were trying to present? In my opinion, you should have been an actress, though being an opera singer is not too far from that perfect guess of mine. I had the impression that every time you walked into the studio, you would adopt your tango persona, that famous tatty girl who was a darling to all of us. Then I found a deep mystic, under your doll-like facade, someone who studied metaphysics or the occult, in your well-hidden need to be admired by each and every man who crossed your path, I saw a woman, somehow afraid of love, afraid of deep feelings, or afraid of losing control. But there was more to it, Tatiana. That melancholy, which was also buried under your smile, told me that you longed for times that were gone forever. It might have been that you longed for a person who had gone forever. Hence you, in your vivid imagination, created parallel lives, created past lives, where you found the place for the protagonist you wanted to keep around you. Yet you didn't have the need to keep anyone. I was aware of it. I saw it in your eyes. I heard it in your voice. For whilst you were in New York, I went to the Metropolitan Opera every time you were performing. I would close my eyes and listen to your voice. It was given to be admired by the masses, to melt the hearts of the masses, but the gift of the golden voice placed you into some sort of solitary confinement where you couldn't reach other human beings when the stage lights went off. You couldn't relate to anyone. You just smiled politely. You gave compliments generously. You made vague promises and went home alone. And what did you do at home? You practiced, you sang, you wanted to reach the unreachable in each and every performance, in every instance of your life but love, I'd say. Forgive me for my frankness. You read me like an open book, yet your book was tightly closed for my curious mind. I don't have such penetrating eyes and developed intuition. But I am a well-read man who has lived many lives in this existence, the only life I believe was ever given to me. I believe we were only ever given one life, and we don't repeat ourselves, we don't meet again, we don't pay debts, and don't redeem our souls. Even though I might ask you, 
How will you redeem your soul for what you have done to Maxwell? I found him crying one day. He would never admit it to anyone that he was crying just because of a woman. But he was crying bitterly as you danced with me that night and wouldn't look his way. Yes, he was 55 years old. But you have to know that the older we get, the mellower some of us become. And that was just what happened to Maxwell when he met you. He thought he met his other half, finally. And there was I, a curious, indifferent observer. Or was I? Or wasn't it sufficient to you, a man who was just a curious observer? You have been listening to Dear Tatiana, a letter, an excerpt from the collection of short stories, Three to Tango and Other Tales by Branka Chubrila. For more information on the book, please find the Amazon link in the Dropbox below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe. Thanks for listening.